Good morning and welcome to the Tree Files yet again. Uh, probably been waiting in anticipation for the next episode. Uh, this one is episode 25. Um, I'm going to do a second product testing for you guys so you can get an idea of what is out there and, well, what the things sound like and all that kind of stuff. So, today we are discussing and unboxing the Zoom handheld recorders. There's H1 and H2. So, without further ado, we all know you're waiting. I'm going to show you first the H1. Right, so, comes in a box like that. Pretty nifty name. Okay, so now I have cut my fingernails, so I'm going to use this little scruffy driver. To open it. Alright, so it comes with basically just the simplicities of things like Cubase LE, WaveLab LE, very simple thing. And then it comes with two gigs of um, memory and a memory card, micro, micro memory card, um, and then as you'll see when I take it out, um, there's your memory card. Yeah. See that again. Woo! Okay. Instruction manual in all languages. And neatly placked in its little packaging. That's how big it is. Small, eh? Alright. And then it comes with a little battery as well. It takes one pen light, double A for those people that don't know what pen light means. And some truth in that. Pen light! Break it up. A light in a pen. <laughs> I used to take that part of the battery, the double A. But yeah. In case you were wondering. Um, so, taking it out of its packaging, let's just throw that one side. So, what you'll notice is. You can see those two little microphones there. One, two. That's what they call X and Y microphones. So the cool thing about it is you can do stereo recording. Now, what you'll notice besides its size is the fact that it's got buttons on the one side. Okay? So basically allowing you to delete, pause, play, rewind, and all that kind of stuff on the device. You don't have to go and take it to your computer and try and figure out what the heck is going on. Pretty cool. The other cool thing is it's got a line in for an additional microphone if you're using like a lapel or anything like that and then also a line out for headphones or going to the speaker which I'll show you after I've recorded something on it. Okay, um, very simple, okay, screen in the front telling you what everything is what and all that stuff with a nice big red button in the front. Okay, that little duty over there. Can you see it? Okay, so that basically simple push once to record and then on the side it's got your little stop buttons and all that stuff as well. Um, you can set the input level as well. So if you don't want to come through too hot or anything like that. It's also got a nice little peak light in the front there. Um, I'm not going to try and show you that. It's just going to be incredibly hard. Um, so if you are coming through too strong it lights flesh tell you too too strong and um, yeah so then you've got option of WAV format or mp3 format so if you want super duper quality or just something that sounds good at a lower size so you've got more space basically um, auto level as well which is cool so if you don't want that as you come closer to the microphone it kind of like compresses the sound you can switch that off or on if you want and then low cut, which is basically taking the low bassiness out of the mix so it's not too bassy. <laughs> kind of vibe. If that makes sense. So, all in all, fantastic little devicey. Um, you'll hear for yourself now with the recording that I'm going to do for you. Um, so you can hear the quality and the clarity of such tiny little dude. Okay, so that's him. The other cool feature is if you buy it right you can also get 
added option of the accessory pack. Da, 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 da. All right, now, what the package includes, if I can read in the back here, package includes adjustable tripod stand, padded shell case, windscreen, mic clip adapter, AC adapter, and the USB cable. Cool, so let's have a look-see. Lots of flaps. Let me just put the screwdriver down before I stab myself. Okay, so because it comes out of the box in a nice big white box. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Wow. Lots and lots of zoom wrapped packaging. Okay, so that's the USB cable, which if you use with the adapter, allows you to use um, adapter power. Now what that means is you don't have to use battery power. So there's the the white box with the adapter inside, which the USB cable connects to, and then Bob's your uncle. No more battery power. There's a little nice shell case. So it's a like hard foam case with a little strappy at the back, so you can connect it to your belt if you want. You know, the Kipster kind of stuff. Very cool. All this stuff is Zoom related, so it's got Zoom names on it. There's a little stress ball and it's actually a windshield for it so if you are outside and you know the wind goes it eliminates it and whoops I just dropped it on the floor uh, if you want to put it on a mic stand obviously we think special ways but it comes with a cool little adapter so you screw into the back of it there's a little scruffy job over there and then that piece will fit into the, the mic clip itself yeah, I'm not taking all of this out of the packaging, otherwise it's going to be a 16 hour long video. Um, and then the tripod stand. So if you want to put it on like a table and record an ambiance, then you can do that too. Alright, so that's all it comes with in the accessory pack. I mean, what more would you like? Let me just chuck all this back in here before. So let me take it. Oh! Getting too old for this stuff. Alright, so the H1 and the accessory pack for it. Now, oh my goodness gracious, I've made a cock up here. Um, let me just put that on the floor before we drop anything. I don't want that. Okay, so now moving on to the H2. Alright, so it looks like that in the box. Well, <laughs> the box looks like that. Uh, cool feature about the H2 now as opposed to the H1, it's got four microphones. So that allows you to do 150 degree spread or a 30 degree focal spread or you can do a 90 degree like that. So basically you've got lots and lots of options. Okay, so it also comes with basic 2 gig flash SD card flash drive. Um, Wave Lab and Cubase. So, very simple kind of setup. Now, what the Wave Lab and Cubase allows you to do is convert things on your computer if, for instance, you recorded something and didn't pick up on it when you were doing the recording that you want to get rid of. Makes sense, right? I don't know. Okay, anyway. So, box comes out of the box with is your Instructione Manuale in all different 625 languages and then somewhere in there is the SD card I'm not going to go scrounge around and look for it there but it is there okay believe me alright and then it's very heavy so somewhere inside there are the batteries I have to look for them all probably it's been another six hours so yeah the batteries are probably inside there okay now Let's take this baby out. Alrighty. So, a screwdriver back down again before I stab myself. That's what she look like. Can you see? Alright, so, zoom H2. Now, it's a little bit bigger than the H1. There you go, so you can see the difference in size. H1! H2! This one's been eating a lot more pasta. Um, now you've got a lot more features to it, obviously, as opposed to 
H1, you've got better quality, so you can change your bit rates and stuff like that. Um, besides having, as we said earlier, the X and Y microphones, you've now got two channel, four channel, X and Y option, or vast 150 degrees, as I explained earlier. Slightly bigger screen, as you can see there. Okay. And again, you can get all the accessories for it as well. I'm not going to go through that whole concept with you, but you get the drift. So you get all the casings, the power supplies, the little dead cat sock as opposed to the windscreen. So dead cat is like a... If you would explain a dead cat, it would look like that, but it's a wind sock that goes over it. Okay, so same concept, little record button at the bottom. And then all these little buttons over here. The cool thing is now, as opposed to the buttons on the H1, you've got a, a jog wheel, if you will. So it's a push button, which I'll show you there quickly. You see that little duty over there? So you can push it sideways, you can push it in, allowing you to control what you've recorded directly from the source, which is cool. And then they both have a hold button, so if you push the buttons by accident, it doesn't change anything. Quite nifty, huh? Alright. So, the other cool thing about the Zoom 2, which the Zoom 1 doesn't have, is you've got a little remote. There's a tiny little socket on the side. It allows you to put something in there, like a button, and then you can put it anywhere you want, push the button, and it records immediately without you having to physically go, push the button, and then run back and record yourself. So, nifty little dude. Okay, so, uh, in my expertise, depending on what you're doing, you can use these things for anything, basically. But the H2 would be better if you were recording yourself in a professional environment such as board meetings that you wanted to take sound bites of. If you wanted to record a professional guitarist or, or a professional interview or anything like that. You could use both of them for it but the Zoom H2 would be better suited for that kind of design. The H1 if you're recording yourself at home, you know, like, say for instance, no one has told you you sound terrible when you sing in the shower, you get to a point where you think you're fantastic, then the H1 is perfect for you, because then you can record yourself directly, and it will be better than any cell phone recording. Trust me on this. Okay, so, there we go. Now, I've done a recording on the H1 for you guys, for the testing. Um, H1 and H2 will sound very similar if I'm going through a little tiny speaker, which I'm doing now. So, bear with me. But as long as you know, the sound you're hearing is going to be the clearest sound you're going to get, other like, uh, unlike using a cell phone. Alright. So, I've connected the H1. Well, I'm going to connect the H1 to it quickly, and then we will hear what it sounds like. Bear with me. Good morning. This is a testing of the H1 zoom handheld recorder for episode 26 of the t files as you can hear fantastic quality all around clarity and well superb quality time to okay. say goodbye or is it hello i don't know i just work here okay so yes that is it uh, now you can hear for yourselves, and thank you for listening. Bye, boy. Uh, there you have it. Shower singing brought to you live on the team finals. Okay, that's it, guys. Um, uh, I don't think I can show you any more when it relates to that, but... Uh, ooh, all that rating. The last time I gave it 3.5 out of uh, 5, I think, lightning strikes. Um... H1 I'd give about 3.8 out of 5, and H2 I'd give probably about 4.2 out of 5 lightning strikes. Um, all in all, fantastic quality. In such a small little device like that, it is amazing. So yeah, gets my rating. Um, have a great one, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Namaste.